We are live here at Live, Love, and Laugh, an intimate time of music. And it's going to be awesome tonight. Your boy's here, Elo, on the Say It Peace show on SYPG Radio. And I'm here with T-Soul. How you doing, T-Soul? I'm all right. How you doing? Man, I'm doing fantastic. A lot of people don't know you, man, but I'm telling you, your music is awesome, man. What really got you started in to just do music, period? Um, well, it, to me, it wasn't really a choice. I think the, the gift was, like, implanted, and I just kind of started walking, you know, in the path that I feel like God placed for me about about seven years ago now when the first CD came out. But um, I'd been singing in church. I've been singing, you know, singing with choirs growing up. So music has always been a part of me, and I just, you know, accepted the call. And most people that sing, man, sometimes they start in the church. So it's always, yo, you know what, out of church background. What is that, though, sometimes? Well, I mean, you know, the music music is a big part of the church. And I think, and, and I mean, and I guess, Gospel singers and gospel music influences a, a large portion of the other music that's out there. So, um, I mean, it, it's like they go hand in hand. Church and music go hand in hand in a lot of different ways. And I mean, the experience that I've seen, you know, people who didn't have necessarily a church family, or did, you know, it, it not necessarily, I guess, a big difference. But you know, church singers versus yes, you do though. <laughs> not you church don't. singers in a sense. So. You do though. But okay, so now let's get into the T Soul. Now, first of all. I mean, some of them, your music, like, what's, what, what you have out there is the albums and the singles that you're really working with now. Tell us about the single that you're working right now. Okay, my single now, I recently released a single called Things Have Changed um, off of my Unplugged album, which is coming out November 27th. And so um, it's an unplugged version of Love and Music, which is my first album that, you know, allowed me to travel all over the world. And that came out five years ago. So as an anniversary of that, I decided to redo it and add some new songs. And so that city as a whole is what I'm pushing now. Um, but the, the re most recent single off of it is one entitled Things Have Changed. There's also a single called Complicated, which has a music video that I shot right here in Richmond. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's about maybe like 100,000 views online. So it's gaining a lot of attention. And um, of course, Best of Me, that's another one that's everybody's favorite. That was my first single. So. Some videos are out there already for the world to see, and some, like I said, will be coming with the promotion of this project. Man, I was looking. You had like about wow, I, I, read, I read it on your website, like 10 million <laughs> views. I'm like, my I'm goodness. Watching man. a lot of people. Well, it's been, you know, it's been a lot of years into it. Now, I, I did my first YouTube channel maybe seven years ago, and um, funny story, it got it got deleted. But um, and rather than discouraged, I made another one. And that one is the one that blew up more than, you know, the first one did. So I, um, it started with covers, like doing covers of different people's songs and all that. And you uh, created a fan base of people that included, like, artists such as Chris Brown, artists mm -hmm. such as Kelly Rowe. And all, they, they've all, like, tweeted out my videos. And so that brings their fan base to me. And then people started asking, where's the, you know, where's the original music coming out? When are you going to do stuff? And it just kind of flowed like that. So... But between the, the covers and the, atten the attention the covers get and the attention my original stuff get, that's where those 10 million views come from. That's really awesome, man. I'm telling you. And I saw you, uh, is it, let me see if I get it correct. Was it BT Music Matters? Correct. Man, that was, uh, tell us a little about that. Well, I've been, BT Music Matters is a, a platform that um, supports, it just gives a platform to artists like myself because it's, it's a lot of talent out there. And um, a lot of the outlets for those talents, especially for people of color, aren't existing anymore. So um, BET Music Matters is one, you know, of, of the things going on now that uh, creates a platform for artists all over the world, such as myself, soul singers, R&B singers, and um, anybody that makes good music. Um, I, I did my first show with BET maybe three years ago now in L.A., mm -hmm. and I made the network then that kind of connected, kept me with them for the last two years. I've, I've done a few shows in New York and done different shows all over the United States. Um, some attached to them, some not. But ma the, the majority, they, they do tours, and they do, like, the BET Awards and do stuff like that. So it's a lot of potential that comes along with just being in the number of artists. Tell us about Happy Holidays. The, this is the Christmas yeah. album. You know, everybody got to put their Christmas music out now because this is the time in the industry where it's kind of aired dead a little bit. So till next quarter, first quarter. So tell us about the Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays was a, um, well, personally, I, I did the project because I, I wanted to, um, I didn't want to rush and put out another studio album. I wanted to kind of let the studio album do a little while. But I, um, I went to Japan a few years ago, and while I was going to be out there for maybe three or four months, I didn't want the name to die down. So I was like, well, I can put out the Christmas album that 
cover for Christmas month, and you know we'll we'll do it like that. So I d- I did the Christmas album Happy Holidays right here in Richmond, um, in about a, like a two week period before I went to Japan for a few months, and um, I worked out of Peripheral Audio Studios right here in Richmond, and just picked a few of my cra- favorite Christmas songs, and I also wrote one the title song Happy Holidays is original, <laughs> and um, just following in the footsteps really of the greats like Donny Hathaway and them because. They, in their careers, you know, they, they he made one of the greatest Christmas songs ever, This Christmas, which is yes. on the project, yes. <laughs> along with yes. other ones. So um, just following those footsteps, you know, of artists like that, it's important that um, you, you look at your whole career, and the frame of your whole career, and a Christmas album has definitely got to be a part of it. It has to. And on this night, when you hear with, man, the, the daughter of soul, I say, most definitely, Layla Hathaway. I mean, you hear, how does it feel, even though I know you've been, you've graced the stage with many people, but how does it feel to be, you just said Donnie Hathaway, yeah. and now you say the best Christmas song, now I'm on the stage here with his daughter, Layla Hathaway. How does that, tell us a little something about that. It, it's, it's a full circle thing for me. It's kind of like his influence on my music, on my life. I, I sung a song for you at the Apollo. I, so it's, it's, he's a part of you know my life and my music catalog, just like I guess everybody. But to be able to just share in a program, you know, with his daughter, it, it's a humbling experience. Um, I'm excited. I'm gonna be a student and <laughs> be paying attention, you know, watch this performer. And I mean, it's it, it's not just something just to say add to the resume. It's, it's an actual moment that I know I won't forget for the rest of my life. And you know what? You heard it right here, man. T Soul, be looking out for him, y'all. He get ready to go on tour too. Tell us a little something about this tour. Yeah, we about to take off. Well, this show right here was added, so this actually kicks off the tour we're going on. But um, Love and Music Unplugged tour. I'm going to New York, Philly, D.C. We're gonna add some dates in Atlanta and Orlando as well. And um, just taking the music on the road, man. Um, I, it, the fan base has reached out from like far and wide, and like. Um, if I could go to every city, I'm going to try to, but we're going we're gonna to start with the ones, you know, that we can and take it like that. Um, but it, I've, I've been performing and traveling now, like, continuously for a while, but I've never really set it up like a tour to say, you know, promotion. So this is the first time I'm really doing that with it, and we're going to see the response. But hopefully if you're in a city, it's going to come to a city near you. And what city is coming to? We're going we're gonna to be in New York. We're going to be on in Philadelphia. We're going to be in Washington, D.C. Um, of course, Richmond, Virginia, Atlanta, Georgia, and Orlando is what we set up so far. Awesome. Well, give me a social media platform. You can find me online, um, www.tsoulonline. That's T-S-O-U-L, online.com. Also, um, all my social media handles are T-Soul Music, T-S-O-U-L Music. Um, that's Twitter, Facebook. They have everything now. Periscope, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta get on. Yeah, get on that it's like, yeah, no, yeah. it's it's a good experience. Yeah. They um, but all the apps, if you if you if you look me up, just type in T Soul or T Soul Music, and I'll come up. I'm also all of my music is available on iTunes, Google Play. Some people, you know, pick Spotify. So if you go to even Title, we we getting we global now. <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah, we are working. Well, you heard it here, man, right here on the Say It Peace Show with your boy Ernest Elo Armstrong and T Soul S Y P G Radio. In effect, we here live, love, laugh, an intimate time of music. Check out T Soul. I'm telling y'all, go get his music. You won't be disappointed. Keep it locked.